Today on the show, a computer virus that lasts forever, photosynthesis without all those stupid plants, and how an 11-year-old kid busted airport security. I'm James Papadopoulos, and this is TextBank. Papadopoulos, Text. Hey, so you know how when you get a computer virus, you can just run some virus scanner software and that should clean it up? Viruses are usually things you download by accident that do all sorts of messed up stuff to your computer. It's like leaving the windows of your house open and letting someone in to steal your stuff. Windows. Slam! So there. Anyway, imagine this. You have a computer virus and you decide to just install a whole new hard drive and reinstall the OS from scratch. And when you're all done, you still have the virus. Well, that's what Jonathan Brassard demonstrated at the Black Hat Security Conference last week. And he calls it Rock Shasa. Rock Rock Shasa. In case you don't know, the Black Hat Conference is where hackers get together and show everyone else how nothing is safe and why we should be scared shitless and hide our money under our mattresses. But I digress. Jonathan figured out a way to install a virus in the BIOS on the motherboard of a computer, basically making the entire computer the virus. You can't scan it with traditional software, and it can even install itself from an infected device like a network card. While there are some safety measures already put in place, like cryptographically verified BIOS chips, it's still some scary sh**. Rock Shasa. Up next, from computer security to airport security. Remember when you were a kid and your parents pissed you off so much that you just had to run away and teach them a lesson? Maybe join the circus? Maybe get kidnapped? Whatever. You need it out. Well, some 11-year-old punk in England decided that he'd run away and somehow wound up sneaking onto a flight to Rome. How? All he had to do was pretend he was a kid in a large family that was already going through security, and they let him through. And then he booked it onto a flight to Rome, still pretending to be part of a family that was legitimately getting on the flight. And nobody checked his passport, which he didn't have, or his ticket, which he also didn't have. By the time the flight landed, they figured out that he didn't belong on the flight, and they kept him on the plane after everyone else got off and then return him to his mother, who was more than a little freaked out. While all the people involved have been suspended while this thing is investigated, and I'm sure the kid's gonna get in trouble too, I say, good for you. Fuck those little losers who run down the street to their friends' houses. This little kid took his temper tantrum international. It's just good that he's back home safe with his mother now, who I'm guessing is still in the process of beating the shit out of him. Finally, remember when you were in elementary school and the teacher went on and on about photosynthesis like anyone gave a crap? If you're anything like me, you spent the whole time thinking, this would be way cooler if we got rid of those stupid plants. And the good folks at Panasonic did just that. And it's just as simple as we learned in school. Panasonic's approach relies on a nitride semiconductor in the presence of light to change the energy state of CO2 and make it suitable for conversion into other more valuable organic molecules. See, why didn't you think of that? It's not really that efficient, but in a few years, if they do figure out a way to make this thing churn out oxygen on a large scale, you can say you saw it here first. And that's why you watch now, isn't it? Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. So what do you get when you have a busted air conditioner and a really humid day? A really short episode. Sorry. <laughs>